Well, first of all, they always say sort of, oh, you're making a model of an airship. It's like, no, actually making a full-size one. Um, I think my dad almost had a heart attack the first time I told him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sceptical would be the word. Uh, people just don't believe it can be done. Me and three of, uh, three of my classmates, as our fourth year project, have decided to build a human-powered airship. Um, I'm Peter Sharman and I'm doing the human-powered airship project. Uh, it's going to be about 22 metres long um, with a helium, well, helium filled air envelope. I mean it looks huge there but uh, it's, I think it's 22 metres long, 5 metres wide. I'd say like for us we, it's inconceivably big. Like, you, I can't imagine how big it's going to be. Well it's pretty much what it sounds like. It'll be um, sort of a big balloon with um, like a structure underneath and the, the sort of the thrust will come from a person so no engines no petrol no electricity nothing like that and here's where the person's gonna be sitting in a little gondola we've got the propeller which is what I've been working on at the moment and then the rudder at the back the little landing gear um, yeah how does the person give it thrust then uh, pedals at the moment that's uh, that's the plan we've we've gone with so it'll be literally a pedal powered airship hopefully well, I worked on the, the gearbox which sits at the back here. Oh, I'll just get this again. Just uh, sits just here, and because um, we're, we're using cycling to uh, cycle drive to, uh, to turn the propeller, so that direction of rotation has to be turned through 90 degrees, so kind of like that. Well, this, this makes up for about a third of our final year. It's 40 credits out of 120, and so it's, it's a pretty big chunk of, of, of the year and, and of our overall course. Um, and it's uh, taken a lot of time. It's, it should take about 500 hours per, per person. So you can imagine the amount of work that goes into it. Well, our cheater, Janet Folks, is... is, uh, is Come brutal. on, boys, get Here's your act together. <laughs> 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 well, first of all, they always say, sort of, oh, you're, you're making a model of an airship. It's like, no, actually making a full-size one. Um, I think my dad almost had a heart attack the first time I told him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sceptical would be the word. Uh, people just don't believe it can be done. Uh, Janet Fakes is our tutor and she's a, a bit of a balloon enthusiast. And um, she's got three, three groups doing different projects this year. And there's, a, there's actually another group building an airship as well, um, our, our competition. Um, <clears throat> and it was, it was just her idea. I think she, she thought it would be good fun for us to do and good fun for her, for her to fly at the end of it. I think it was the idea. Was she right? Is it, has it been fun? It has been fun, yeah. It's been, it's been great fun. All right, uh, this is the sort of the gondola structure. Um, it doesn't look like much, it's sort of bits on the ground, but if I show you this, this is the, this is the full balloon. And the bit on the floor here is just this, this little sort of aluminium bit here. I haven't seen that in a while, actually. Yeah. I'm working on the propeller, which is made mostly from foam. Uh, this stuff is just insulation foam. Um, the sort of stuff you get on the inside of surfboards, really. Tell me what that feels like. It's, it's, it's pretty stiff, fairly light, but obviously it's foam, so you can, you know, you can, you can break this off if you, if you really want to. I'm not going to break anything off. So this is, this is the front of the airship. You'd be going this way. Um, this is part of the drive system by the frame donated to us by Giant. Uh, on the airship, it'll be this, this blue propeller bit at the back here. So you'd be, you'd be lying down. It's a recumbent position. Um, so yeah, you'd be lying down at about 60 degrees. Uh, Let's call please. in your mates then, get them to help you show me. Show me. Yeah, you. yeah. Get in the picture. This here is the uh, the rough version of one of the propellers. Um, it'll start off like this, with a couple more on the bottom here. Then we're going to coat it in carbon fibre to give it a bit of stiffness. Um, obviously, sand it down first to give it a nice smooth shape. But this is basically what we're what we're working with. Okay, so this with the help of my charm and assistance is hopefully what it'll be, well, is what it'll be like when it's all welded together. So you sort of, you have the passenger here. Um, these will be chopped down a bit because my legs aren't that long. Um, yeah, so you'll be sort of, you're lying back like this, gonna have pedals on the end where my feet are. Um, yeah, and you just sort of, you'll pedal along. There'll be a propeller behind you back there. And I'm not sure if I'll be the first to fly it or not, but. Uh... Yeah, it, it, should, it should definitely fly if, if, uh, if it all goes to plan. That's the idea. When it first flies, who's flying it? <laughs> I, think, I think it's going to be a rock, paper, scissors situation. To... Names out of a hat. Yeah, yeah that's it. Names, names out of a hat is the current, 
method. Hopefully we'll all get a chance to go up in it. I think it's just who goes first is the big question right now. Is it, is it a short straw or we all want to go first? Well, I, th I think we all do a little bit. I think there's a lot of competition for second. Yeah. So, once <laughs> so once it's gone up and we're sure it's not going to, I'm sure it won't, touch wood, um, fall out of the sky, then that'll be fine. It's just that first guinea pig. Oh, I think I think everyone's quite keen to be the first one. I think Janet's probably going to uh, fight us all off there. She's uh, she's dead keen to fight. <laughs> yeah, the weight weight is a weight is a factor because we're all <laughs> we come in many shapes and sizes. But um, who's, the, who's the largest member of the team? Me. Skinny legs. Yeah, I got skinny legs. Which is a bit of a disadvantage. I'm gonna get some training in. Um, and Mike comes in at the heaviest. I think he's about. <laughs> About 15 kilos more than me, about there. 10, 15 more than me. 84 kilos, maybe. It's the, it's the big rugby build. And then we give it to Andy the welder, who does an absolutely amazing job. 